Hi, I'm John Cilio from Cilio.com, and this is the Ask Cilio series on browser privacy settings. In the first installment of the series, we talked about logging out of your accounts, Facebook, Google, and otherwise, so that they're not tracking you on an individual identity basis when you're surfing online. This tip, tip number two, is to start utilizing the private browser settings that most browsers have. There are two main reasons to turn on private browsing. Number one, any place that you surf, it doesn't matter what type of site you are, the web pages that you open and the files that you download from that page are not recorded in the history. Nobody can tell that you have been there. Secondly, when you get out of the browser, when you close that private browsing session, your cookies are deleted. The little pieces of software that track you from session to session are totally deleted so that the pages you have been on uh, can't track you the next time that you get on your web browser. Incredibly easy ways to protect a little bit of your privacy. It takes place, you can do it in Internet Explorer, Firefox, Safari, Chrome, all of the browsers. We'll take a look right now at, uh, at how you do this in some of the sample browsers. Okay, so for in Chrome, for example, you go into File, and start a new incognito window. That's the private browsing in Chrome's terminology. It talks a little bit about what incognito means, what you get and what you don't, and you can learn more. I highly recommend, it's a little different for every browser, I recommend you go into the learn more sections and find out what they mean by private browsing. In Firefox, it's a little bit different. You go into tools and start private browsing. When you do it, it gives you a chance to decline it or to start it and then it again it tells you what it means and you can go learn more about their private browsing. Finally let's take a look at Safari which we haven't dealt with so far. In Safari you just drop down in the Safari bar to private browsing. It gives you a chance here to ask uh, learn more about their private browsing and when you turn on private browsing it starts you all fresh. You can see up here that it is private. Now, when you close out your browser, the private browsing session ends. You have to do this each time you open it up. So, if you're surfing something that you don't want everybody else to know about, you don't want to be tracked, you want to delete the cookies, turn on your private browsing. It's simple. So there you have it. As long as you have logged out of your accounts and turned on private browsing, it's much harder for these websites to track what you're doing across multiple websites and across multiple sessions of your browsing history. I hope this has helped out. Click on the uh, button down below if uh, you want to view the next video. If you have comments about what we're talking about, you have ideas on how to protect browsers and privacies on, uh, privacy online, you know what? Put it down in the comment section. We appreciate it. Thanks. John Cilio from Cilio.com.